Hey guys, this is Garner the Young and I'm Vijay back with a new video. In this video, I'm going to share about the Zyme fertilizer. I'm going to share how it benefits our plant growth and how to use it, when to use it and many have the doubts on whether it is seaweed fertilizer or it is different. And on many internet platforms, there is no clear cut explanation on how to use it. So I wanted to share about it clearly, more clearly with the informations which I gathered from different resources. So let's get into the video. This is how it is looking. It is actually a mixture of many fertilizers. Zyme fertilizer has seaweed fertilizer as a base. So this also clears that the most asked question about zyme fertilizer that whether it is seaweed fertilizer it is a variant of seaweed fertilizer containing mixture of other nutrients and other fertilizers as well basically zyme fertilizer is a mixture of seaweed fertilizer and harmic acid with some fulvic acid some brands do use fulvic acid and some doesn't and also they contain some amino acids in them and many different kinds of bioenzymes as well as auxins it's a kind of hormone which helps in the plant growth that is also present in this fertilizer and it also contains chelated micronutrients organic one so what is chelated micronutrients it is nothing but uh, micronutrients in absorbable form which will not react with other en environmental things about the contents of this fertilizer now let's see what kind of nutrients are present in it so basically it has nitrogen and potassium in higher quantity and also a significant amount of ph phosphorus and they also have many kind of micronutrients and secondary macronutrients which are required for the plants so it is an all-in-all -all fertilizer so your plants won't uh, feel any deficiency if you use this so in what stages it can be used i would suggest using it in the growing stages of the plant maybe a seedling stage to about before flowering. I would suggest this fertilizer only during these stages and even after pruning your fruit trees or flower trees or any other kind of large perennials can be seeded with this kind of fertilizer only after pruning for about one or two months and in an interval of 15 days. I'll make it clear with two examples. One is some kind of vegetable or flowering plant maybe tomato or brinjal okay if you take such plants when they are around one month old you would be transplanting it in the soil so from that time around two months you should give this fertilizer 15 days once and for the i'll tell about the dosage later now let me explain about the interval when you have to give this fertilizer next as perennials i would say hibiscus roses or any fruit trees which are growing in containers like uh, guava or even pomegranate there are many fruit trees growing uh, according to your wish you can give it to any plants I would suggest this fertilizer for such plants after pruning for two months in an interval of 15 days and this time is what growing stages means because after pruning the plant needs uh, nutritional support for its growth and this is when the plant will be growing into a large plant after pruning there will be enormous growth in plants so for that we have to give some nutrients so at that time you can give or in vegetable plants or in uh, general plants grown from seeds you can give at the younger stages rather than flowering or fruiting stage even if you give in uh, flowering or fruiting stages it's not going to be wrong but I would suggest a fertilizer rich in potassium and phosphorus during flowering and fruiting stage whereas in the growing stages you can give such fertilizers rich in nitrogen and other nutrients as well. Now let's speak about the dosage. This is around 1 teaspoon. I would suggest giving this to a large plant or to a large grow bag. I'll explain it later about large plant or grow bag why around the base of the plant and water it this is typically a slow release fertilizer you have to consider two things while giving this fertilizer one the size of the plant and second the size of the grow bag or pot you are growing in so the one teaspoon is for one large plant 
or if you are having one large grow bag then uh, one teaspoon per grow bag it may be uh, four or five small plants in the same large grow bag then also you have to give one teaspoon or if you're having medium sized plant then you have to give half teaspoon and even though if you have a medium sized grow bag and in it you have very tiny plants like any amaranth which requires less nutrients then you have to give half teaspoon for that as well because for amaranth and all you cannot say uh, per plant you, you you won't need half teaspoon or one teaspoon so for the grow bag you have to calculate and give if it is a large grow bag one teaspoon medium grow bag half teaspoon and small grow bag quarter teaspoon or if it is a large plant then you can give one teaspoon medium sized plant half teaspoon and very tiny plants you need to give quarter teaspoon that would be enough it would really grow well if you give it this fertilizer it is a magic fertilizer uh, and you can see significant difference in plant growth after one week or maybe around 15 days so in this time slot you you can see significant difference you can see many buds or uh, new leaf growth which is lush and better than before with this fertilizer mentioned it has micronutrients you can also use this when you have micronutrient deficiency in your plants you can uh, check if your plant has micronutrient deficiency if your leaves are like dull if it has different patterns of yellowing of leaves uh, then there may be different kinds of uh, micronutrient deficiency but it has all kind of micronutrients so you can give this fertilizer and cure it as well but it is not like chemical fertilizers it won't act so fast like chemical fertilizers it is a slow release one so it will take around 15 days the new leaves only will have significant change than the older leaves which are already affected and it also has auxins in it auxins act where we use it so in in this fertilizer the auxins are there so auxins will be acting on only on roots as we are giving it only in the solid form on the ground we are not going to spray it so the auxins won't work on the plant branch growth but the auxins in this fertilizer will help in the root growth and better root growth means better plant growth as well and increased yield roots are good the nutrient absorbed will be good and the plants will also grow well and the humic acid and fulvic acid in this will improve the soil's texture as well as it, if your soil is alkaline there are chances that many nutrients which you added are in unabsorbable form so those unabsorbable uh, nutrients will be corroded by this acid and it will be made into the absorbable form so your plants will grow better i hope you understood about this fertilizer really well if you have any other doubts you can comment down i'll be very glad to reply to your comments I hope you found this video thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe and press that bell notification as well so that you'll get notified about my future videos thanks for watching happy gardening bye bye friends